Hi and welcome everyone. Today we're gonna run through the new arcade, the Diabolicals. Uh, yeah, let's start. Good morning, 47. Your target is the infamous serial killer known as the Sensor. With a flair for the theatrical, the Sensor acts as an examiner who grades his victims based on how much they struggle for their lives. The true identity of the sensor is unfortunately unknown, but the discovery of two recent victims indicates he's now exploring Whittleton Creek, Vermont, in search of prey. We only have a limited window of opportunity here, 47. Find the sensor and make sure he never grades anyone again. Best of luck. Okay, so here we go. Uh... All targets must be killed by uh, melee weapons or something melee. And uh, yeah, that's the new thing in the this uh, old arcade. Uh, it doesn't matter what uh, melee weapon you pick, if whatever you have that is lethal, or you can pick something up while we run. It's Welcome just the way the Mont, how to. Do it. The that sensor is, should uh, be somewhere important. in Whittleton Creek. <coughs> I brought the change. new emetic uh, grenade. I just wanted to try it out. I haven't done so it I yet. And uh, yeah, the, the most important thing to bring is the coins. So you don't have to run and pick up the coins. Jeez. And I also picked one of the melee weapons, a dagger. Uh, I so never used the these melee weapons before, now so it's, uh, it's a fun way to try them out also. Yeah, the first uh, thing we're gonna do is run to the party. Uh, it's open, so this it's no hostile the area. We run the through the garage, the and right away uh, in the picture. kitchen, Are we're gonna find the exactly serial killer. It's the guy, uh, not the one I'm standing behind. Here, here I'm running around. I wanted so well to try the grenade on someone, not on the target. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the target is the the guy with the glasses and the blue shirt, by the way. I haven't decided uh, at start here exactly wh uh, where to kill him, so... But and I messed up a bit while uh, running around with the grenade. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the coin trick. Uh -huh. uh, since he didn't uh, go after the coin when I throw it, so we're just gonna bump into him and put it on the floor, not drop it. So he will follow us. Hmm. You, you, I, I have three coins, so I can actually let them be there, but uh, yeah, I picked them up. He will follow anyway. And here we are. In here now, I, you see, see I shot the garage uh, door before... Uh, Killing him right it. after the NPC walked out. And that's all you have to look out for. Wait for the NPC to walk out of the garage and uh, yeah, kill him. Hide him in the box just uh, so no one walking past while we run out. And you can take whatever exit you want. This is a really simple oh, hello, way to kill him. Uh, yeah. And uh, now we're going for the next one. I'm gonna shorten this stuff down in the future, not uh, so so not this long. The scoring. The next one is the what, what is name? Good evening, the heartbreaker. Yeah. Your target is Philo Newcomb, a wedding planner whose CV reads like a Shakespearean tragedy. While his job is to make dream weddings a reality, he is not in the business of fairy tale endings. When one half of a couple catches his eye, Newcomb will ingratiate himself with them. Then during the course of his work, he will covertly murder their partner to clear the way for his romantic overtures. Our client was once the subject of Newcomb's infatuation, 
and lost the love of her life as a result. Having some suspicions, she's followed Newcomb's career closely ever since and noticed a pattern of ill-fated lovers emerging in his wake. When she heard he'd been hired by a couple planning a destination wedding in Argentina, she contacted us about putting an end to Newcomb's sanguine love stories. Good luck, 47. Yeah, here, here we bought uh, the uh, in, um, gas grenade that we can put in the bag. Remote emetic gas device, that is really good. And a tranquilizer. Welcome to and any lethal melee will do. Or if you don't have any lethal melee, of course you can pick up anything in the game that is and uh, lethal melee. I doubt it's just scouting around until you find something and do this route. His yes, sir, we, we start with pick up uh, the invitation that is always on that spot here in Mendoza and run uh, to this guy and show it to him. Don't run past him or you will could ruin the silent assassin if you don't run back quick enough. I'm just uh, taking out the gas device and then put it back in the bag. That's how you really activated it. So now you have a switch uh, in your inventory that you can use. For those who don't know, pick up the coin. I pick up the bottle just to have an extra melee. That's not lethal, but yeah. We're gonna run out here, and he's gonna be ahead of us a bit now. And we run this loop just That's so we can pick up uh, be Romeo the. And I think, yeah, I brought the bubble gums. That is. Uh, conclusive so that's just a backup for uh, so no one enter the area where we're gonna kill him so if they enter they're gonna pick that up and have plenty to do with that we are also gonna drop a, a gun uh, the tranquilizer like one extra firewall so no one uh, comes and ruin or silent assassin tricky with the bag a bit there Distract the the guard. It is so he walk in here, take up the tranquilizer, shoot him. Just let him lie. Don't move him. Uh, if you're new to use the tranquilizer, remember never move the body that you have shoot. If you move it, then they uh, they will ruin the silent assassin oh, yeah. if they find him. But if you shoot someone with the tranquilizer and they don't see. Uh, and don't move the body. It doesn't matter if they find him because they just wake him up. They think it's somehow of, uh, an accident that he's passed out. Take up whatever melee you brought, kill him. And since we Expect put the um, gun on the floor and the gun, uh, even if two uh, NPCs walk in there, one is gonna pick the gun and the other one is gonna pick the gun. It's, it's um, just a safety call it a firewall, I don't know what to call it. It's just in case some surprising NPC walks in. Anyway, we're gonna run out uh, through the wine field and I noticed that they have changed the spot where the guard stands at the gate. I was a bit surprised when I got there, but it's no problem. We got the bottle and yeah, something else I had there. I had to be a bit tricky to get him away from uh, where we're gonna exit or, or normally he stands on the right side of the gate at least for me here he stands on the left side of the gate where we are gonna run out uh, I messed up a bit there or uh, they didn't do exactly what I planned them to do this uh, worker wa walking back so have to throw the dagger on so we don't need that anymore <coughs> and then we just use instinct and see what way they are looking and we can go past them. this this work you don't want to move so I decided just to run behind him instead since it would be no problem and uh, yeah, the guards are uh, getting close so just uh, crunch run around use a corner or something too. and that was it quite easy also or should be 
Uh, so, what you need for this tactic is the uh, gas device, and don't uh, forget to take it out of the bag and put it back. That's the only way you're gonna get the trigger, so you can use it. Good evening, 47. Off to next target, target the last calls one. calls himself Mr. Giggles and operates an underground circus called the Soiree Horrible. Attractions include animal fights, deadly blood sports, and other choreographed violence. We are uncertain why he is in Marrakesh, only that he is somewhere in the city center. You will need to locate him on the ground and engage at your discretion. He should be simple enough to spot at least. The client requires that in addition to eliminating the target, you also acquire his client list. Given the target's personality, he is unlikely to manage such matters himself, so you will need to discover its location on site. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. I switch around a bit here. We, we, the most important thing to bring is the seeker and uh, I brought the guest device also but that's a backup we're probably not gonna use it and I brought the uh, bubble gum uh, the conclusive ones that make the ones eat them pass out without uh, ruin the silent assassin okay here we go we follow which way I took there we're just gonna run outside to the entrance where the neon light is uh, at the cafe and then turn right left that's what I did the cafe entrance is right behind us now that's where we are if you're lost, I take out the gas device and put it back in the. In, oh, I actually just took it out and put it in my pocket here and left the bag there because we have a bag up here that we're gonna use later. The bag downs there. The NPC will go and pick up. There is no way to hide it downs there. Pick up the bu bubble gum from the bag. Uh, we're gonna use the bubble gum on the lady that has the device that we need uh, and the gas device is just a backup if we fail with the bubble gum uh, on her up here you're gonna find uh, mr. giggles walking he could be in different spot but he's always up here if you walk here now you can uh, identify him by the hat like I did there I was not going to shoot him and then just oh shoot God. him with the seeker and yeah he will walk down to the cafe we're gonna kill him eventually but before that we're just gonna we're gonna run there before him and uh, get the device from his uh, associates uh, don't forget to pick up the bag if we need to use the gas device later on well, hey, careful here first of all use instinct and look so no NPC is downstairs and second when you throw it make sure you hit the little gate so it really bumps down and lands down here sometimes if you're not careful you can throw it and it lands on the roof or something so you can't reach it anyway now you see where we were and we're just gonna walk behind this guard who took the bag or someone took it and gave it to him behind this lady here you're gonna end up in a hostile area a few seconds take the invitation don't run past the guards down uh, at the other part of the cafe. Uh, it's easy to forget. They're not gonna frisk you. They just want the invitation. So s always stop there. If you run too quick, they can. If they reach in, they can just uh, <laughs> ruin or silence us immediately. Look for this lady with the glasses. And uh, is it blue or grey? The dress. I think it's uh, ah, it doesn't matter mm -hmm. uh, here I bump into her same as I do with the coin and drop nice. the bubble gum eventually she takes it 
it will take a while with the cinematics before she eats and uh, I turned my back okay. at her well, just well, to see if she thing. stops like being so interesting in me and yeah here she takes the bubble gum as soon as she eats it just pick up the, the advice that we need the <coughs> device the advice the device in a way and Mr. Giggle is already here in the toilet waiting for us to come kill him. Uh, do it a bit Target quick because uh, sure there are some NPCs that has their route the to this toilet so don't forget to put away the dagger or whatever melee weapon you decided to use. If it's illegal to have it in your hand I mean you need to remove it. Okay. I don't think the, this exit is the closest either. I just wanted to take this little track. <laughs> okay, uh, if you find this video uh, somehow helpful, I'm glad. Anyhow, thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, see you another time. Bye! Closer in the shadows behind the everyday world, beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand.